Let's crack straight into it. So, let's change that from PvP hardcore to PvE daily. We have PvE daily right out of the way. We're going labs today. That wants us to survive three reserves. So that's eight. Something to do with interchange. UN roadblock. Is there anything to put down on labs? Nope. There's a woods. There's customs reserve. Lighthouse. Ground zero. Streets. Nothing for labs. Right. Let's go to the hideout. I want to buy some fuel before we get in there. Because we know we're going to have to top it up anyway. Alright. Let's get the scav case. What was the other one we needed? WD. I'm hyped to see what you get from the Gamba Circle. Same, actually. It's textiles done too. Nice. Please. We've got the keck tape done. That's nice. So fleece and cordura for that. Cold a circle. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Why was it nothing? I'm trying to see if I got any more diary diary. 12 hours, 12 hours. Does that mean it wasn't worth enough? Cool, so that'll be ready for tomorrow. And that should be regular letter materials finished. All right, so why are we going labs? Is it just the terror group employee? Oh, and SVD kills, the lab. So we're gonna do terror group employee and try and get the SVD kills. And then also we need to get the item for, um, solar power. If we can find an advanced current converter, that would be huge. Why are they still so expensive? And two lines, yep. All right. Well, we might as well... Oh, yeah, another Bitcoin there. It felt like we were being a bit too poor. You know what I mean? There we go. Two fifty-nine. Well, we need to buy lab cards, actually. And we also need... Filters. Bruh. One sixty six. Put an air filter in there. Put a water filter in there. We have one labs card in the docks case. That's the blue tape one. Unless you made a different docks case. Right. Pair. Can't. Do we take some extra ammo? Right. Uh, I do have black key card, so I might leave that behind. All right. Let's do it. I could realistically not worry about raiders at all and just focus on killing the players on labs. They don't spawn later. To kill the players, look for all the loot, and then, um, and then we leave. We need to get the 15 PMC kills.
Don't really care about picking up graphics cards. Pretty sure they were players. Yep, level two. Level 56, hold that tag. Bam. Black, yellow, and we should have got managers. Drop. All right, so we, we need lions. Lions. It connect. the current converter. Do I care about finding gra- I don't need money that badly. Like, I don't think I really should care about finding graphics cards. Let's just get the plays done. And see if we can find a current converter. Is the flea economy effed on PVE? Yeah. Doors open, doesn't start open. Son of a Your door. Drop that off there. Oh, big connect. Make the mainframe graphics card.
Heavy Air Labs always feels weird. Yeah, so we're doing our daily PvE raid. Objective is to kill players and get a couple of items out. I come the SVD on labs because I need to get SVD kills. Need more minerals. Are you in a show right now? Yep. Grenade killed him. Not exactly what I was after. Hello, Raiders. Really? You can still get a lead spawn over here, but I don't think you can get MCC. No. Let's keep it moving nice and quick. I this is the lost intelligence.
That was awkward. I didn't even press any buttons and now the Raiders are spawning. Why did you tell Nikita to remove the pack of lost thing complaining that the servers are dead now and now you play PvE? Thanks for making my tracksuit grind even harder, bro. Get good, scrub. Get fucking good. Back in my day, I grinded 100 without it. You can fucking do it too. And they spawn every five minutes, the Raiders, I don't think so. It's laughable how a guy who was using an exploit is complaining that the exploit was fixed. And saying that his enjoyment has now been reduced because he was, he was uh, he's unable to cheat anymore. I, I used to smooth zoom all the time. Do you think they need to increase the boss spawn chance in PvE? Um, no, not in PvE. PvP they definitely do. Oh, it's there. Right, so we need to go in here. More stems.
Up here, how you doing, mate? Line? Line? Ah. Oh. Day ruined. Coffee. Did I not pick up the quest item? Actually? You're right. You still play PvP too, right? Yes, I start my streams with one PvE raid. Or like, maybe about 45 minutes to an hour of PvP. Of PvE. And then after that, I do PvP for the rest of the stream. People complaining, or if people complain about the packet loss thing being gone, that's not the thing they should be complaining about. They should be complaining about the boss spawn rate being too low. The packet loss thing, like, like it or not, it's just lame and cheating. That's it. <laughs> Nothing really else to it. It was an exploit, and it should should have been fixed way faster than it was. Took like a year to fix. The issue isn't the packer loss thing, it's the rate that the fucking spawn of the boss is. <gasps> get across, get across. That's the issue. You used to be able to see at the start of a raid, up the top, if there was a bit of packet loss, it meant the boss wasn't there. So people were literally spawning in, right? This is no word of a fucking lie. Spawning in, and if the boss wasn't there, they'd either disconnect. Or just uh or uh just run straight to the extract. And so people would just be literally running straight out of raids over and over and over again until the boss spawned. It was part of the game everyone got not just anybody but he did it. Everyone did it. Yeah, but it kind of ruined the raids, right? Like, now people actually have to look for the boss. The issue is, in my opinion, not the fucking... Like, the, the scarcity of bosses should never be down to... Like, it was 8% until I got back from Africa. 8 and 10%, depending on which boss it is. 15% now. It should never be below 20. Never be below 20. It should be always much higher than that. They're a fucking boss. And they should be like... Like with the amount of people that want to kill them, they need to be higher. Particularly with quests that say kill them 25 times, kill them 100 times, you know, kill them 15 times. Like with quests like that in the game, it's disrespectful of people's time. Like... Let's go with you can kill killer a hundred times, right? So it's 15% spawn chance. So uh, uh, 100 divided by 15. So it, it, it's like 666 raids. If, if you killed killer every single time he was in there, every single time before anyone else got to him, it's 666 raids to get a hundred killer kills. And if you want to go like a step further, 666, say you were able to do it, find him within 10 minutes, it's 111 hours. That's three weeks full-time job of just perfectly running to him, killing him, extracting, spawning back in. Like, that's just ridiculous. To do that in a wipe is, let's be honest, it's pretty much impossible. Like, for, for, for anyone less than a full-time content creator, it's supposed to be a hard quest for a reason, but it's not about... Right, a champ. I'm, I give up. It's not hard because it's 
It's not hard because it's actually a difficult task. It's hard because of you literally sitting there for RNG. That's the hard part. It's not the it's not the hard it's not hard because it's a, a skillful thing to do. It's hard because it's just rare and a lot of RNG. And like I said, it's disrespectful of people's time. Morning, Dead Point. How you doing, man? All right, Terry Group employee is doing. Nikita making a task, turn in one red laser cannon, but making the red laser cannon 0.0001% spawn rate isn't a hard task. It's just stupid. Agreed. All right. Uh, what map now? Look how many streets tasks we have. I, only, I, I don't do them because I don't need them for Kappa. Reserve, reserve. We could do reserve real quick. Kill five raiders in the bottom plus back door. There's three tasks to do. All right, we'll get all the orb keys. Is it RB, OB, or OP? Definitely not that one. Definitely that one. You have not enough money. Well, sir, I found two bitcoins in labs, so I'm 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 rolling. I see me rolling. I can't tell end of the PV looked like pretty good rate. That labs rate was good. Yeah, definitely. No complaints here. All right, we need reserve. PSV1, PSV2, PSP1 and 2. All right. Took a few hits that time. All right, what's... um? Was there anything else to do in there? Wait, how do you get pest control? EFT wiki pest control. EFT wiki pest control. Is it after backdoor? After the task reserve? Have we done it? Delicious sausage. Do we have to kill Glucka task? No, I don't. Am I blind? You have delicious sausage. Really? I do. Fuck. All right, I need to do this one. I need to find a sausage. Oh, right, let's get one this right. Ah, uh, we're gonna go through D2 anyway. A uh, streets task needed for Kappa? Not many. Not many at all. What is your intended stopping point for the PvE series? Probably Kappa, and then I'll just do it every now and then when there's an event. We don't get much events on PvE? Well, the Mortar event was there. Uh... We'll start with going for the Raiders, and then go from there, I think. Thanks, dudes. Sparky, AK Thomas, thanks so much for the 18 months, dude. Blade Strike, thanks for the T1. Bit awkward walking down this. Cool, I'll just kill the scabs.
Alright, Raiders are up. What? Oh, just a scab. Nah, motor event over. Come on, give us a sausage. That was a raider. So there were raiders here. Check these bags. I'll dump that there. Should be some duffel bags in here. Gonna move nice and quick. Uh, it's one more up or two more up. <laughs> Might be crazy. I swear I heard a scav line come from a raider on a reserve. Might be possible. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me. Inventory checked on. Should we check the cages for a sausage? Probital on me. Just to be safe. Raiders spawn with a medic switch, but you need to kill him in the bunker for the quest.
Safe corridor, renegade, back door. As long as the luck is not there, should be Gucci. See if we can get that sausage. What else do we need besides the sausage though? Like loot wise. Anything? Check for Glocker. What's up, Pest? Huge fan. Hope you and the family are well. Thanks, dude. Um, we are. Glad you enjoyed the content. Is there anything for technical supply crates that I need? Oh my god, learn how to jump, Pest. You used to be able to just search straight through the cage. Now you have to fucking do that jump. And he's not very good at jumping. Okay. Sausage. Are you doing PvP today? Yes. Might be underneath. We just can't get caught in a cage. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Are the sausages horizontal or vertical? Vertical, okay. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Do we care about technical supply crates? I just can't think of any loot that we actually need now. Like we need, oh, actually, uh, power filters are in technical supply crates. They're two mil each. We need him for the solar panel upgrade. Sausage.
PvE where you usually get waves of, of AI. Nothing's down here. It's because I'm on the quest. If I wasn't on the quest, it, I'd be hit by 40 scavs right now. It's a lot. No sausage. There's a couple more crates I can check, actually. Maybe four crates, two rations, one te uh, two technical. They're in, they're in the night buildings if I want to go to the, get those players. Check the last few crates and then we'll head to uh, D2. At least that'll be two tasks done. That sounded like it was outside. The players spawn later on PvE. Or are they always there from the very beginning? Sausage. Sausage. Yes. Double sausage.
Where are the pliers? Dead. PSG really should put some fixed player spawns down the bottom of here. Need a house dank rat. Maybe you do. Can, I, can we stand up? Oh my god. Worth at least having a look down here real quick. For a vertex or another good item. The water filter there, it's 240k. Do the military power filters spawn in toolkits on reserve as well or just technical supply crates? Pull one out of the toolkit. Okay, so this one in there. I was just thinking for a second, did I press the button? I did. A huge raid. Inventory check will be done. Black door's done. We got the sausage, so we can go do the sausage raid on the next one. And also we got um, the WD-40, so I don't have to wait for the craft. So next, uh, next episode, we have to go streets and get the sausage stars done. We have so many street stars, so it can't hurt. Can't hurt smashing it out. You know, I got two PMCs then, but at least on streets, we'll get plenty of um, PMC kills. Wish we had the option to run streets locally if our computer is tanky. Even when it's not run locally though, I run stupid high, stupid, st sorry, stupid low FPS. They put way too many AI on there, the streets. Like, I'm pretty sure you could get 100 plus on streets. Like, kills. All right, inventory check done. Back door done. This leads to RBST. We can hand in this one.
Do I need one more vertex? Ugh. I don't actually think, like, really, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that task. Oh, sausage. So now that I'm getting closer to the, the pointy end of PVA, what I'm going to start doing is start collecting um, a heap of just random barter trade items and I'll fill up a heap of junk boxes up full of them just because and in case um, there's an event happen and then obviously the items blow up in, in cost and you end up having to pay like stupid amounts. So we'll start collecting a heap. clearing this Bit of a mess probably keep that one know the advice I showed up late. What advice is that? I don't have any good advice, mate. Cool. I think that's everything that's nice and tidy. You sure I should be proud of how tidy I've got this. Alright. Big dubs. I'm gonna buy some more M80 for later. We're gonna need it. <sighs> Are any of these actually worth selling? We've finished samples, so trim it all seem to be worth a little bit. Maybe the green ones? I use the Maldonans, Oldos don't. Cool. All right, that's nice and tidy. We need to start saving up for the solar panel upgrade. Probably sell some of the keys we don't need anymore. We could definitely sell those orb keys. We don't really want to ever have to worry about them again. Orb 2. Orb 1. OB. Orb 3. Cool. Sugar and Alionka can be sold. You are correct. Do I have any Elionka? Or am I just blind? I need level 48 for crisis. Cool. All right, that's done for PVP, sorry, PVE today. <sighs> 48 gets us crisis task. I don't even know if we have the Lettuxes ready. Probably need to look, start looking for them. And what raid number was that? 93 and 94.